Good morning, good morning guys. I am here in uh, Wawa, Ontario. And it got pretty darn cold here overnight. I mean cold. It was 32 Celsius below zero. And the windshield was 38 below zero. So that means it's almost equal with Fahrenheit, as you know, probably at 40 below zero. That's when they match up. That's when they're equal. And I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit the amount of snow that these guys got up here. Just take a look at that. I mean, that is just the snow build up over the time here, you know. That's just crazy. But anyways, I'm just sort of inspecting stuff here a little bit on my truck. I was just gonna have a quick look here on the end. Yep, everything is looking good. So we will go back in the truck and we shall get going here, you know. Yep. Here we go. Cars are all good. Yeah, it was. I didn't expect it to actually get that cold, you know. I thought I thought it was only going to go down to like 22 below zero, but it got cold when I woke up this morning. It was like, holy shit. Anyways, let's get going.
are ready. We are just going through Terrace Bay, Ontario. I hope you guys enjoy the scenery's uh, video, the clip that I had on there earlier. <clears throat> they sure do have a lot of snow up here. Man, I can't believe they got so much snow up here. Ah. Yeah, that's just beautiful sceneries up here in Ontario. And lots of snow. I hope they don't get any flooding up here though. Once all the snow melts, there's going to be a lot of water. That's for sure. And we just had a little bit of a pit stop up here. A little uh, shell gas station up here. They got a uh, subway in there. And I had me a subway sandwich. Yeah, I like subway sandwiches. Well, that's about it. That's time to uh, Terrace Bay, Steve Ontario. Point. Now we got about 926 kilometers to go to Winnipeg. Yeah, we won't quite get there today, but we'll be there sometime tomorrow. Probably tomorrow by noon we'll be in Winnipeg.
in uh, Ignis, Ontario. Just had me a little bit of a pit stop in here at the truck stop. Oh, I'm going to continue rolling down the road. Yeah, I got about 470 kilometers to go to Winnipeg, but uh, yeah, I won't quite make it there tonight. I'm sort of debating on where I'm going to stop for the night anyways. I haven't quite made my decision yet. I I know I can go past Dryden. I can probably even make it into Manitoba up there to that uh, rest area in Manitoba. But I don't know if I really want to drive that late tonight. So I'm sort of debating on where I'm going to stay overnight. I know I can probably go up there to Dryden, Ontario and uh, stay there for overnight and I know at the Petra truck stop we have internet over there so I'm sort of debating on I should probably go over there and upload my tomorrow's video I know it's a week from today when you watch this but yeah, I still haven't uploaded tomorrow's video, so probably need to do that, right? Otherwise, you guys can't see it tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it might be late. But we'll see how it turns out. We'll see. By the time I get to uh, riding, I don't know if I'll still feel like continue on driving. If I do, I might. If I don't, I might just stay there. So we'll see. Sort of debating on that issue right now. This guy, he seems to be he's in a hurry. He just wants to get speed past warning. me. See? My GPS was just saying speed warning, and I got it set so that if I go nine kilometers faster than the speed limit, it says speed warning. You guys probably heard that many times over the times already. Uh, it says speed warning every once in a while. That basically means I'm going about four miles an hour faster than what the speed limit, the posted speed limit is. And then it warns me and I like it. I have set it up that way so that way I don't go too fast or don't go too much over the speed limit, you know. Because that way I don't get myself into trouble, you know. I figured I explained that a little bit, you know. Some people are always, you know, like, they're always looking down at you, you know, if you get a speed warning or whatever, you know, so. That's what it is. I've set it up so that way it gives me a speed warning if I go about four miles an hour faster. So. But anyways, it's been a beautiful day. It's been a good day driving for me. I haven't had any issues. And nobody has cut me off today or nothing. Everything has been good. Everything has been really smoothly actually this trip pretty much. Yeah. But we'll go do our delivery tomorrow. And we'll be home for the weekend. Yeah, I'm excited for that. We we'll get to spend some time with the wife and kids. Probably spend some time with friends. Yep. But anyways, we'll keep on rolling and we shall see you later on. Alrighty guys, I have made it up to Dryden, Ontario. And yeah, I'm uploading some videos up here. Uploading the one there for tomorrow morning. Yep, hopefully it will be up and running. But I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah, the movie was up to like 76% uploaded, so... Should just be a matter of releasing it tomorrow morning. At least that's what I hope for, so... But anyways, I'm calling her a day. We'll continue on with our journey tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. So give me a thumbs up, share the video with your friends and family. And we shall see you again. Thanks for watching. <laughs>